Hello there guys and welcome back to another Microsoft Flight Simulator performance video. In this video, I will show you 5 tips that will help improve performance, reduce stuttering and enhance the visual experience in the sim. Please do note that the performance tips presented in this video may not work for everyone, but I sure do hope it will improve your experience in Microsoft Flight Simulator. We are in the cockpit of the AnyBuilds A310, exactly at runway 07 left at Los Angeles International Airport. As you can see here as I pan around the cockpit there are no stutters, no jitters and everything is butter smooth. So you can see here as we move around the cockpit, as we move backwards, forward and as we pan around every area in the cockpit there are absolutely no jitters or stuttering whatsoever. The same can be said about the external view as I pan around the camera as you can see there are no stutters and no jitters and everything is just butter smooth. The performance tips are quite simple and they involve the following. The first step is to delete the NVIDIA shader cache. Please do note that the performance tips included here work for both Windows 11 and Windows 10. Before deleting the NVIDIA shader cache, please ensure that Microsoft Flight Simulator, X-Plane or any other games aren't running. To delete the NVIDIA shader cache, we're going to locate the app data folder. We're going to type percent app data percent and hit enter. When I click on app data and go to the local folder, from the local folder, we'll search for the NVIDIA folder. From the NVIDIA folder, you'll find two folders, the DX cache and the GL cache. Click on the DX cache first. Select all the contents of the DX cache folder. You can hit shift and end to select all and simply click on delete to delete everything. The next step is to delete everything in the GL cache. We're going to click here and we're going to right click and delete. If you have more than one folder, go ahead and delete everything you find in the GL cache. The next thing is we're going to make a few changes to the NVIDIA control panel. From the NVIDIA control panel, go to the global settings. Scroll down until you find the shader cache size. This will more than likely be set at driver default. Go ahead and select unlimited for the shader cache. Next, go to the program settings and select Microsoft Flight Simulator from the drop down list. Change anisotropic filtering to 16x. You can turn off anisotropic filtering in the InSim settings after making this change. Next, Go to low latency mode and set it to ultra. Next, set the power management mode to prefer maximum performance. And finally, set threaded optimization to on. These settings will apply for X-Plane 12 and any other game that you are playing. Another tip that I'd like to share with you that may or may not be applicable in your case is in the NVIDIA control panel video section. Under adjust video color settings, make sure you go to how do you make color adjustments. Select with NVIDIA settings. Go to the advanced tab and make sure the dynamic range is selected to full. When you update the NVIDIA control panel, this will more than likely be reset to video player settings and it will more than likely be set to limited. The final tip that I'd like to share with you is something that I got off from another YouTuber. I do apologize for not remembering who it was, but I do thank him very much in case he watches this video. The game filter settings can be accessed by using Alt F3. I have copied his preset, which I found to be very realistic. You can copy my brightness and contrast settings as you see here. Exposure minus 4, contrast 0, highlight 0, shadows and gamma set to 0. From the sharpen tab, select intensity to be 30% and ignore film grain to be 40%. 
From the color tab, set the tint color to 0, tint intensity to 11, temperature minus 12, and vibrance to 0. Let us now put those new settings to the test. Before we begin testing, these are my InSim settings for this video. Let us now test the effect of deleting the NVIDIA shader cache as well as the changes we've made to the NVIDIA control panel. We're going to set full power and depart Los Angeles. I have brought up the FPS counter so you can monitor the performance as well as we roll down the runway. Let's go! As you can see, the performance is pretty smooth as we roll down the runway. A little drop in the FPS, nothing too serious though. And we continue to roll down with again no stuttering or jittering whatsoever. Right, let's rotate. And we're gonna track the landing gear. Let's switch to external view. And as you can see, a very smooth experience with the INI builds, averaging about 70 FPS or so. At a very complex scenery. As you can see, no matter what angle we look at or how much we pan around the cockpit, everything is very smooth and jitter-free. Let us now load up the PMDG 737 at exactly the same location and take a look. I have now loaded the PMDG 737. Of course, the PMDG is much better optimized than the Inibuilds A310 and that is noticeable through the FPS counter. We're going to push the uh, throttle to maximum power and take off. Again, notice how smooth uh, the aircraft is running down the runway. And here's a look at the external view as well as we roll down the runway and getting ready for takeoff. And that's positive rate, gears going up. And here is a wing view as we depart from Los Angeles International. And again, take notice of how smooth the experience is. Well, folks, this is pretty much what I wanted to share with you in this short video. I hope that those performance tips do work out for you and I'd be very interested to know if it does. So please do share your experience with me in the comment section. I want to thank you very much for tuning in and until next time, please take care of yourselves and each other and I will see you all very soon. Thanks for watching and bye bye for now.